As we go through the wet season, the tropical waves that come by off Africa into the Caribbean continually are interrupted by some Saharan dust. And that will likely happen as we go through the next few days. So we have had a tropical wave coming by. They have had a few showers as well, but there will be some Saharan dust in the air as you go through your Wednesday. So look for a mix of conditions, a few brief showers around, partly cloudy at times, and you'll also see some hazy sunshine developing as you go through the day, particularly across parts of Tobago. Now for Trinidad, the hillsides will continue to attract a few of those brief showers for Valencia, up to Arima, into Diego Martin as well as you go through your day. But it will also be that Saharan dust creeping in as you get into Sandy Grandi and Toco. Not so much so for western areas of Trinidad, but still you'll notice the partly sunny skies as you go through your day. For San Fernando, Point Fortin and Maruga, scattering of showers are possible first thing in the morning as you go through the afternoon. Conditions will dry out just a bit and you will notice that Saharan dust and that haze pushing in from Rio Claro, Guaraguara and eventually getting towards western areas as you go through the latter half of the day. Temperature-wise, looking at a warm 32 degrees Celsius for Trinidad, 31 in the Tobago. And if you are looking for the rest of the week to get towards a Friday, we are continuing to see a bit of cloudiness from time to time, but more so on the Friday and more so for Trinidad. There is a possibility of a moist surge coming in that will likely bring the chance of a thunder shower as well into Trinidad through Friday and then settling out by Saturday. Heading offshore, those uh, moderate southeasterly winds continue at uh, 15 knots. We'll also see 1.5 to 2 meter wind waves with a few white caps from time to time and short easterly swells of 8 seconds. And if you are heading out, you've got your high tide at 11.45 a.m. So that's weather and that's it for me.